Ronnie Ward from the Dittmas section of the Flatbush neighborhood, Brooklyn, in the city of New York. It's, uh, well, it's Thursday, <laughs> barely into Thursday. Yeah, um, 12.59 a.m., just barely into Thursday. So, uh, well, anyway, th here's a video on YouTube. It says it was posted three hours ago. Three hours ago. Three hours ago from here. Yeah. So I'm seeing it right now. Three hours after it was posted. I'm looking at it. I sure am. Yeah, I am. If I can find... I just dropped the mouse. I just dropped the mouse on the floor, for God's sake. I just did. I don't know where it went to. It fell on the floor. It did. The mouse did. Oh, wait a minute here. Let me do this. Well, anyway, yeah, well, <laughs> oh my goodness, you know what, hang on, hang on, hang on, I guess, I forgot to turn it on, hang on, I gotta read it again, yeah, well, three hours ago, right on cue, name of all, them, all names, quaff is the 19th letter in Hebrew, and it is a picture of the sun on the horizon. It means divide, behind, gather, condense, go behind, circle, time, monkey, enduring, and Kodesh. So how is it that a letter can mean so many diverse things, and what is the correlation of them? Join us for this study to see the meaning behind this letter. All praise and glory to the Most High, It's 18 minutes and 25 seconds long. letter in Hebrew. It is a picture of the sun on the horizon. It means divide, behind, gather, condense, go behind, circle, time, monkey, enduring, and kodesh. So how is it that a letter can mean so many diverse things? And what is the correlation of them? To understand this, we must look at the shape of the Paleo-Hebrew letter that is in the shape of a circle with a line drawn through it. This is where the meaning of circle comes from, but also because time is cyclical, like day and night, winter and summer. The letter, Kof, represents time, and its shape shows a planned view of a sundial. How do we know for sure that time was being kept by the sun in scripture? Well, it is mentioned in Melachim Bet, 2 Kings 20.11. And Yeshayahu the prophet cried out to Yahuwah, and he brought the shadow ten degrees backwards by which it had gone down on the sundial of Ahab. The position of the sundial in the letter Kof is facing down at what is called the sext. It is shown in this diagram. The sext is at the eve of the sixth hour of the day. Just as in the eve of the sixth day, mankind will be judged. This is called the dark day of Yahuwah. Amos 5.18 Woe to you who are longing for the day of Yahuwah. What does the day of Yahuwah mean to you? It is darkness and not light. As when a man flees from a lion, and a bear shall meet him, or enter his house, rest his hand on the wall, and a serpent shall bite him. 
Is not the day of Yahuwah darkness and not light? Is it not very dark with no brightness in it? Yoel, Joel 2.31 The sun is turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of Yahuwah. Yoel, Joel 3.14 Crowds, crowds in the valley of decision, for the day of Yahuwah is near in the valley of decision. Sun and moon shall become dark, and stars shall withdraw their brightness. And Yahuwah shall roar from Zion, and give forth his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall quake, but Yahuwah shall be a refuge for his people, and a stronghold for the children of Yisrael. Matthew Yahu Matthew twenty four twenty nine and immediately after the distress of those days the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give its light and the stars shall fall from the heaven and the power of the heavens shall be shaken. Just as cough represents time, it also represents the appointed time, for at the eve of the sixth day man will be judged. We await the trumpet of Elohim. This is represented by the feast Yom Teruah, or the day of shout. 1 Thessalonians 4.16 Because the Master himself shall come down from heaven with a shout, with the voice of a chief messenger, and with the trumpet of Elohim, and the dead in Mashiach shall rise first. After the trumpet blast, just as in the feast Yom Teruah, the next feast represents the dark day of Yahuwah, that is Yom Kafar, or the day of atonement. For it is only after judgment will we be made Kodesh. For we will either hear, Well done, good and faithful servant, or Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. This is why Kof represents Kodesh, for it will be at the appointed time when the sons of Elohim will be revealed. And this is why Kof can represent monkey, a beast in the likeness of a man, but without law. For the lawless ones will become beasts, all of those who would not repent and give reverence to Yahuwah. Kof also has the meaning of the eye of a needle, which our Savior Yahusha spoke about and associated the eye of the needle with judgment. Matthew Yahu, Matthew 19.24 And again I say to you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the reign of Elohim. This parable shows that it is hard for a rich man to unpack the worldly possessions and enter into the reign of Elohim, not being willing to let go of their wealth to follow him completely. Just as in the time of judgment, many will take the mark from the eye of a needle so that they can buy and sell. Is this just a coincidence that the letter cough that represents the appointed time the sun on the horizon. The sun's atmosphere is called the corona, and the letter also means the eye of a needle. Is there a word that represents the number 2019? The word that has that value of 2019 is the Hebrew word rock, Strong's 7535, and it means but, even except Howbeit, howsoever, at the least, nevertheless. The first time this word is used is in the days of Noah, just as when Yahusha talked about the end, Matthew Yahu, Matthew twenty four thirty seven, and as in the days of Noah, so also shall be the coming of the son of Adam be. The first time the word rock is used is in Bereshith, Genesis 6, 5. And Yahuwah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart 
was only evil continually. The word only in this passage is the Hebrew Strongs 7535 rock. This word seems to show up in times of judgment as in Sodom and Gomorrah, Bereshith, Genesis 19.8. Look please, I have two daughters who have not known a man. Please let me bring them out to you and do to them as you wish. Only do no deed to these men because they have come under the shadow of my roof. The word only again in this passage is Hebrew Strong 7535 Rock. This word is used again in the future prophecy of the second exodus found in Genesis chapter 20. We did a video on this prophecy called the prophecy of Abram. See link in the description. Bear sheep Genesis 20 11. And Abraham said only because I said to myself the fear of Elohim is not in this place and they shall kill me for the sake of my wife. The word only in this passage again is rock. This word shows up in the first exodus in the following verses. And it shows up again when Yahusha, Ben of Noon, went up against Jericho in these verses. In Psalm 91, a psalm about the dark day of Yahuwah, it says, Of the pestilence that walks in darkness, of destruction that ravages at midday, a thousand fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it does not come near you. Midday on the sundial is the sext, the end of the sixth hour. And in the very next verse, the word rock appears again. Telahim Psalms 91.8 Only with your eyes you look on and see the reward of the wicked. We have all seen great changes in people since 2019. And the letter cough has the meaning of divide. For at the harvest, the wheat and the tares will be separated. And in order for there to be a harvest, the crops must mature and bear fruit, some to everlasting life and some to everlasting judgment. But I say to you that no matter what you have taken or have been forced to take, there is still hope for you in Yahuwah. For it is written, and he said, I shall cause all my goodness to pass before you, and I shall proclaim the name of Yahuwah before you, and I shall favor him whom I favor, and have compassion on him whom I have compassion. And again it is written in Yahishkel, Ezekiel 18:23. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wrong, declares the master Yahuwah, is it not that he should turn from his ways and live? This is why it is written in Revelation chapter 16. And the fifth messenger poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and his reign become darkened, and they gnawed their tongues from pain. They blasphemed the Elohim of the heavens for their pains and their sores, and did not repent of their works. If then the mark was the end, and there was no hope for them, then why then was it important to write repentance in this passage? It is because the word of Yahuwah cannot be broken, and it is written in Yochanan Aleph, 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, He is trustworthy and righteous to forgive us the sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For it is the reverence of Yahuwah the belief in Yahusha for salvation and true repentance that saves a man from whatever sin he has committed. Rechab was a harlot trapped in the city walls of Jericho 
and doomed for destruction, for Yahuwah had put it under the ban. Yahusha Joshua 6.17 And the city shall be put under the ban. It and all that is in it belongs to Yahuwah, only of Cobb, the whore is to live. She and all who are with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent. Rechab not only hid the messengers, this shows her compassion, but she also showed great reverence for Yahuwah, Yahusha Joshua 2.9. And she said to the men, I know that Yahuwah has given you the land, and that the fear of you has fallen on us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away because of you. For we have heard how Yahuwah dried up the water of the Sea of Reeds for you, when you came out of Mitzrayim, and what you did to the two sovereigns of the Amorites who were beyond the Yardin, Sehon and Og, whom you put under the ban. And when we heard, our hearts melted, and there was no spirit left in anyone because of you, for Yahuwah, your Elohim, he is Elohim in the heavens above and the earth beneath. Rechab declared that Yahuwah is Elohim of all the earth, and she asked for a true token. Yahusha Joshua 2.12 And now please swear to me by Yahuwah, since I have shown you loving commitment, that you also show loving commitment to my father's house and shall give me a true token and shall spare my father and my mother and my brothers and my sisters and all that they have and shall deliver our lives from death. She was given the oath of Yahuwah, the Aleph Uatah, the mark of the Most High by showing reverence, by showing compassion and finally by letting down the scarlet cord. This was a statement to Yahusha that she and her family needed salvation and the letting down of the scarlet cord is symbolic of repentance. Chasson, Revelation 6, 8 And the fourth messenger poured out his bowl on the sun and it was given to him to burn men with fire and men were burned with great heat and they blasphemed the name of Elohim who possesses authority over these plagues, and they did not repent to give him esteem. It is not too late for you. There is still hope, but you must repent and give reverence to the Most High and believe in Yahushua HaMashiach for your salvation. Matthew Yahu, Matthew 28, 9 Therefore go and make taught ones of all the nations, immersing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the set-apart Spirit, teaching them to guard all that I have commanded you, and see, I am with you always until the end of the age. Amen. Kaifa Bet, 2 Peter 3.9 Yahweh is not slow in regard to the promise, as some count slowness. But is patient towards us, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Yeshayahu, Isaiah 43.11 I, I am Yahuwah, and besides me there is no Savior. I, I have declared and saved. I made known, and there was no foreign mighty one among you. And you are my witnesses, declares Yahuwah, that I am El. Even from the day I am He, and no one delivers out of my hand. I work, and who turns it back? Yochanan John 3.14 And as Moshe lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the son of Adam has to be lifted up, so that whoever is believing in him should not perish but possess everlasting life. For Elohim so loved the world that he gave his only brought forth son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but possess everlasting life. May Yahuwah bless you and keep you, and make his face shine upon you and give you 
Shalom. Husbands, love your wives as Messiah also did love the assembly and gave himself for it. Look, the hand of, has not become too short to save, nor his ear too heavy to hear. Just uh, a scripture reading. I, it just came up on the feed. I, I, it just came up on the feed. So I hadn't even listened to it all the way through. So, anyway, there it is. Ronnie Ward from the Dipma section of the Flatbush neighborhood, Brooklyn, in the city of New York. It's Thursday. The, uh, <laughs> the uh, 28th day of uh, March, 2024. Yeah.